In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to evaluate piecewise functions. A piecewise function is actually a function that has multiple or several sub-functions, and each sub-function is applied to a specific interval. Okay, so like what I can see here, f of x is equal to x plus 1 if x is less than minus 2, and minus 2x minus 3 if x is greater than minus 2. This is a piecewise function. So how do I determine the values of f of minus 3, f of minus 1, and f of 0? OK. Let's start with the first one, f of minus 3. I want to determine f of minus 3. How do I do that? I will come to these two intervals that I have here, x less than minus 2, x greater than or equal to minus 2. In which of these intervals does minus 3 lie? This is greater than or equal to minus 2. Numbers greater than or equal to minus 2 include minus 2 itself, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. Numbers less than minus 2 are minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, and so on and so forth. So it is this interval that I can locate minus 3. Therefore, to evaluate f of minus 3, I'll make use of this, x plus 1. So in place of x, I'm writing minus 3. This is equal to minus 3 plus 1. Minus 3 plus 1 is simply minus 2. What now is the value of f of minus 1? Right, so in which of these interval does minus 1 lie? Minus 1 lie in this interval, x greater than or equal to minus 2, because minus 1 is greater than minus 2. Numbers greater than minus 2 include minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and above. So therefore, I will use this function, this sub-function, to evaluate f of minus 1. And so we have, in place of x, I'm writing minus 1. Minus 2 times minus 1, minus 3. Minus 2 times minus 1 is 2. This is equal to what? Minus 1. All right, the last one, c, says f of 0. Just like what we said earlier, 0 is actually greater than minus 2. So I will still use this sub-function to evaluate f of 0. So f of 0 is equal to minus 2. In place of x, I'm writing 0. So what would this give me? This is actually minus 3 because... Minus 2 times 0 is 0. So I have just minus 3 left. I want to evaluate the function f of x equal to this at x equal to minus 1, comma, 0. So what we have to do is to look for f of minus 1 and f of 0. What is f of minus 1? If I look at these two intervals very well, I will see that minus 1 lies here x less than 0. Numbers less than 0 include minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on and so forth. So this sub-function will help me determine f of minus 1. And so f of minus 1 is equal to 1 plus, in place of x squared, I'm writing minus 1. Minus 1 squared is 1, positive 1. So this is what? 2. What then is f of 0? Here, x is less than 0. Just like we said, numbers less than 0 are from minus 1 down. 0 is not included. But here, I have x greater than or equal to 0. This equal to 0 means that 0 is part of the interval. Okay, so here we can find 0. I'm making use of this function right now, this sub-function. So it is x minus 1. At x equal to 0, I have 0 minus 1. 
which is equal to what? Minus 1. At x equal to minus 1, comma 0, the function is equal to 2, comma minus 1. It's as simple as this. I'm given this piecewise function. I'm asked to evaluate f of minus 2, f of 0, and f of 4. Let's look for f of minus 2. In which of these intervals does minus 2 lie? Of course, it is this interval, s less than 0. Numbers less than 0 include minus 2, okay? We have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to make use of this sub-function. Actually, this sub-function is a constant, minus 5. So f of minus 2 is actually equal to minus 5. What then is f of 0? Okay, if I look at these intervals very well, I can see that here it says 0 less than or equal to x. Okay, this is what I'm interested in, just this. So here x is equal to 0. So I will use this sub-function to evaluate f of 0. This will be equal to 2 times 0 minus 3. 2 times 0 is 0. Of course, 0 minus 3 is minus 3. So for the last one, we have f of 4. In this interval, x greater than or equal to 2, I can find 4 because 4 is actually greater than 2. So this sub-function will help me determine f of 4. And that is equal to 4 to the power of 2 because I have x squared here. And what's this? 16. This is how to evaluate piecewise functions. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe, like, and share the video to your friends and your classmates. Keep watching, keep following. I'll see you in the next one.